Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a tour of my studio. So this is where I do all of my filming, all of my photography, I work in here, all my planning stuff is in here. So I wanna give you guys a tour of this space. First things first, when you walk in, you see my You Had Me at Aloha banner, and then it goes into this closet. So this is what I call our swag closet. It's where I put all of the extra stock of past Oh Hello boxes so Alex can use them to hand out to clients and promo clients. So we got pens, we got cases, cards, business cards, hats, just tons of stuff in here for his future like promo clients to give us gifts and stuff. So we have bags and everything. And then I also have up at the top every single one of our past subscription boxes, I save one of them. So those are all up there. The other side of the closet just has more swag stuff. And then we move over to my desk area. So totally have animal crackers there. You know, when you're feeling munchy, you gotta get your animal cracker on. So I have one of these Ikea carts. It's changed so much over the years, but right now it has some letter writing materials, my Polaroid zip, all of my stickers, some paperwork I gotta go through, a notebook, and then this is where I put all of my travel, like pens and stuff when I take them with me. The next shelf has all of my covers as well as some more like note cards and extra folio and then that box right there is full of inserts and traveler's notebooks things down here i have my pens and hand lettering stuff as well as two different types of business cards and an extension cord because when i set up my lights for filming i need an extension cord so i kind of just tuck it over here this desk um, my husband alex made for me so Really happy about it. I love this thing. It has two cubby holes. I don't think I really have anything in there. I just have some um, extra cork and some notebooks. And then I don't think anything is over in this cubby. I have this little basket that is my trash can, my backpack for when I go and work somewhere else. Up here, I have these Erin Condren pen holders with some Erin Condren pens and then my mild liners and Sharpies. And then I have my other pen collections down here if I need other options, whatever library book I'm reading at the time. This is a squishy shrimp. It's just cool. I just have it because it's cool. And then I have some stickers, my adhesive tape, some sticky notes, fingernail clippers. This is where I keep lists and business cards. And then I have a bunch of um, wipes from Erin Condren and a coaster. Then I got my laptop here and then you move over here and this is where I have like my photo setup. So this is just foam board from the dollar store. And then over here is where I like to keep all of my like props that I use most regularly. These are notebooks that I hand letter in or use for examples for pen tests. I have like just decor items, rulers to show size some fake plants and my camera. And then I have my two soft lights that I will turn and use for filming. Next door, I have my ring light and I just kind of tuck it off to the side when I'm not filming as well as my tripod. And this is the bin of things I usually have to take photos of, but right now I'm packing it because we are doing a photo shoot with our marketing coordinator over the weekend. So I'm just gathering things I wanna use for that shoot. And then I have my microphone and this is the table that sits in front of me when I'm filming so I can have like supplies or whatever. This plant I got from a neighbor who was moving and didn't wanna take it with them. I have yet to repot it and there's holes in the bottom of the pot. So I just have a plastic bag, you know, super classy to uh, make sure that the water doesn't get on the floor. But she's doing pretty well, she's spread out. She probably needs a little bit more room, but she's adjusting well. And then this is what you see in the back of all of my videos. It changes kind of regularly depending on what cute things I have. So I got this weekend mask at the Sugary Gal Shops conference and it's on a little cat I have. Back here is my Shopkins collection, my Tsum Tsums and my My Little Ponies. This octopus was in one of the boxes. Some vases and then all of my Shopkins that are plant related. And then this is one of my favorite little like reference books. It's the Last Words of Notable People. Shopkins Donut, these were a gift from Alex for our second wedding anniversary. It was the cotton anniversary so we had 
little characters made of us. Then I also have my makeup bag that has all of the enamel pins from the subscription boxes. My wax poetic candle that I made with my friend Taylor. I'm pretty sure there's a vlog of that. These are my two memory notebooks. This one was for Go Wild specifically, and this is for just travel in general. And then this photo album has all of the postcards from the subscription box. Then I have this really cool kaleidoscope that was hand lettered by Erin Condren herself. I got in Go Wild, which is just like the craziest thing. A lot of this stuff is Go Wild, I realize. So this is my llama from my table at Go Wild. Then I have this little letter board. I made this frame to have all my wonton pins because I'm hoping to grow my collection. And then a photo of Alex and me at our engagement bridal shower party. And a little thing that says hello. And I've been avoiding this bin but this is for an upcoming video I am doing, so I'm just storing all of my items for that video in this bin as they come in and I collect them. So let's go through these mystery drawers, shall we? And I'm gonna have to fight with this plant, but we'll just set you up there. So this first cabinet I recently cleaned out, but this is where all of my planners and any sort of notebooks and things that maybe are sent to me for review or want to keep to compare, they stay up in this shelf. And then down below is the camera bag and any extra random cords that we might have. Over on this side is a bit more random. Up here are props for photos that I may not use all the time, but I want to have some books that I like to use for props. Alex made me this box for Valentine's Day and it opens up, so that's what that is. That is the Erin Condren binder that I, I honestly should put it in the other cabinet now that I'm thinking about it. It's a planner, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that. And then I have some food products because I was doing product photography for this brand and I just kind of stuffed them in here just in case they need me to do more before uh, we consume them. Now these drawers are probably incredibly messy because I actually haven't even looked through them. So these are also props and things for videos. So I have a, like a pencil case full of pens and pencils, bunch of pens and washi tape and pencils down here, as well as some of my old traveler's notebooks that I haven't taken apart so that I can use them in photos and videos. Back here I have my entire um, lilac pineapple clo bow collection. I love using these for like props and stuff. So those are back there. There's like pins and bow clips in there. And then the next drawer is like loose sheets of paper from different planners. So these are loose. And then in this box is more binder papers for the Erin Condren binder. And then I have a couple of soft bound notebooks because I'm like obsessed with them. And in the bottom drawer, this is where the true mess is. This is just kind of a culmination of things I used to use for props. So I have notebooks and these little ornaments I like to use for Christmas posts, stickers, little baubles, just random random things down here. I really should go through this because it's kind of a disaster, but when you close it, it's all nice and clean. There's also usually a puppers somewhere hanging out with some sort of toy. Like this octopus. So there you guys go. That is my photo and video studio. I like to keep it as clean and simple as possible so I can move things around and adjust and work here and it's a really like versatile space for me. I get a lot of different projects and things done here. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more tours of various spaces at Oh Hello headquarters. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!